Introduction It is a pleasant autumn evening. Rashmi is taking a stroll in her garden. Suddenly she feels a stinging sensation on her right cheek. Her first reaction is to slap her cheek hard. On removing her hand, she finds a honeybee fall dead to the ground. Rashmi is in terrible pain. She rushes to a doctor for medical relief. You just saw Rashmi's first reaction to an external influence. In this lesson, you will learn more about the living things and their characteristics. Living things Living things breathe, move, grow and reproduce. Living things have sensation. They eat food and remove waste. Non-living things Non-living things do not breathe, grow and reproduce. They do not have sensation. Some non-living things are natural. Example, stone, gold, etc. Some non-living things are derived from living things. Example, honey, silk, etc. Breathing All living things breathe. The process of breathing involves two steps. Taking oxygen-rich air into the body known as inhalation. Releasing carbon dioxide-rich air from the body known as exhalation. Respiration. Food gives us energy. The process of release of energy by food into our body is called respiration. Oxygen helps in respiration. Carbon dioxide is released during the process of respiration. Growth All living things grow with time. Some living things grow bigger and larger with time. For example, horses, human beings, etc. Some living things change their form with time. For example, butterflies, etc. Stimulus Response All living things feel the changes around them. Any external influence which causes a living thing to react is called a stimulus. The reaction of a living thing to an external influence is called a response. For example, when you touch a hot pan accidentally, you throw your hand immediately. The heat radiated by the hot pan is a stimulus. The act of moving the hand away from the hot pan is a reaction. Movement Living things show movement. Birds fly in air. Fish swims in water. And animals run. Plants are an exception. Though living, they cannot move from one place to another. Non-living things, on the other hand, do not show any movement by themselves. Reproduction All living things can produce young ones. This is called reproduction. Living things increase their number by reproduction. Photosynthesis Plants make food in their leaves by means of a process called photosynthesis. Leaves of a plant prepare food by converting the carbon dioxide absorbed from air and water absorbed from soil into glucose in the presence of sunlight. Oxygen is released during photosynthesis. Sources of food Some animals get their food from plants. They are called herbivores. Cows and elephants are examples of herbivores. Some animals kill and eat other animals for survival. They are called carnivores. Tigers are examples of carnivores. Some animals get their food from both plants and animals. They are called omnivores. Bears and humans are examples of omnivores.
Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Living things breathe, move, grow and reproduce. The process of release of energy by food into living things is called respiration. Plants make food in their leaves by photosynthesis. Living things respond to external stimuli. Living things increase their numbers by reproduction.